actually had to clear out my space um, to do this Hobonichi haul because my package from the Hobonichi website from Japan finally arrived. Um, this is probably the longest that I actually had to wait for them to ship out. It still didn't take that long, but it was longer than say the previous years that I've ordered directly from them. But I am very excited to actually share with you my haul. Um, and I'm gonna talk through my system or what my my intent was when I placed this order. So as you guys know, there was quite a bit of um, chaos that happened um, while everyone was placing their order. So I ended up having to place my order from three different locations. Um, I had to place an order from Jet Pens. I placed an order with Nico Neko. And then the last one, I went back to the Hobonichi website on Saturday morning and placed the remaining of stuff. Now, they are not all for me. Um, they are really more, we did a group order. And when that order didn't kind of, you know, happen as it planned, which was all through Hobonichi, I kind of bought what I wanted and then um went back on saturday and got the ones that we were supposed to group order anyway so long story short i'm going to show you part of it i think i'm going to start with the accessories first because that is the ones that um you know i have kind of like the least amount i want to say and then it kind of will lead into my um my my haul itself so i am gonna go through what i got um, from jet pens and nico neko from here in the u.s and then i will go through actually what i just received from japan so my intent for 2025 is to upgrade my daily journaling from my Hobonichi Weeks to an A6. And I felt that with the amount of writing that I'm doing currently with my daily journaling, I think I would really appreciate the A6. And it will give me space to actually put pictures and write a little bit more. And so I decided on the A6 Han and I fell in love with this rainbow. So, sorry, I literally just should have done this off camera. So I fell in love with this rainbow Han and I decided to use this as my daily journal. So as you guys are familiar, this is the English version and the daily, the A6 Han is a day, a page. There's no weeklies here. And it's just a monthly and the weekly. And I just thought this would be a really good space for me to daily journal in. Has good amount of space that I can add some pictures, some deco, and then, you know, my feelings and what happened on that day. And I've always kind of enjoyed the Han. I actually had the A5 Han. So this is going to be my daily journal. I also picked up these from Jet Pens. This is the A5 weekly, no, sorry, it's the A6 weekly sup. So I got two of them. And the reason I got two of them was that I had planned on using also the A6 Homonichi as my everyday planner. And I wanted to upgrade it from a weeks and downgrade from the a5 so i kind of wanted something very similar to the a5 cousin and but i wanted i just didn't want it that big so i went ahead and got <clears throat> and made the decision to get the a6 and i really liked the the weekly layout so i thought i would get the sub 
for the A6. I don't know if I am going to keep this because these are really tiny. I went ahead and I got um, the A6 from Paper Test. That's going to be a whole different video because my mind went a whole different way because I wasn't expecting her to release an A6 and she did. So it kind of threw my game a little off. But anyway, back to Hobonichi. Um, I got these from, I want to say Nico Neko as well, these pencil boards. So I got an A6 because I absolutely love the Yumi Kitagishi um, collab. I love this cat. I love the illustration. I love the strangeness about this cat. I just love everything about it. So I got this in the A, sorry, the, the Hobo Weeks and then the A6. And I don't use them as a pencil board. I use them as like a page marker. So wherever this sits is basically where the, the, the date or the week is that I'm going to be planning in. So I got these two. I have to get this cover because I always get a new cover and they always have something cute. Last year was the food theme, like the pretzels and the snacks. And then this year was these dogs. I know I'm a cat person, but I also love dogs, believe it or not. I also love dogs and I just really love this. So I picked one of these up for the weeks. And I also got a weeks because I again, was planning on using this as a throw in my purse, but I don't know if I am going to. And I absolutely love this cover so much because there's obviously a cat and a girl and, and it's a whole Bonichi weeks. I always end up, I always get two weeks. I will show you the other weeks that I got. Um, I was a little sad because they ran out of the Yumi cat at Nico Neko, and then um, they didn't have it at Jet Pens at that time. So I ended up getting, no, I did get one from Jet Pens, or was it Nico Neko? I can't remember. I did get one, but Catherine wanted one and she couldn't get one. So I sent that to her, and I ended up getting another one from Hobonichi website. I love this pouch. So this is the accessory that I got. This is one of the drawer pouch that I actually picked this one up from Jet Pens. I have this in the bright spring color one that I got last year with the red and the striped ones. So I wanted another one. So I got the blue and the clear. Um, and I got two covers. I got a week's cover and then I got a A6 cover. Um, this is the Elatone and this is the green. I will say I did open this and I don't know if I love it. I will be very honest. I'm not sure if I love it. The reason being is that um, I actually put, I want to say I put in an, a regular A6 in here, not the Han. And there's a lot of wiggle room. Like it's a little too loose for my liking. I know once you bulk it up, it'll be fine. But I don't know if I kind of, I don't know if I like it. I, I just can't tell you if I like it or I don't like it. I But I can tell you, I don't know if I like it. It does look very cute. Um, it is like 30 something dollars for a plastic cover, which I think is pretty expensive, but I do love the structure of it. So I, as I was saying, I do love, um, I don't know if I love it. I, I don't mind it at the moment, but I don't know if I am in love with it. So that's that. I'm glad it fits the Han. Um, so there's the A6. I also picked up the A, no, sorry. I picked up this, which is the Weeks. Um, let's see. This I did try. I opened this. You can see this has been opened. I kind of put in a Weeks in there. I know for sure I'm not in love with this one either. I have had a far prettier 
Sweets Covers. The Tegan is probably my absolute favorite. Um, but I will say I don't know if I love this one because there was a lot of wiggle room in the weeks. So this is to be determined. Um, so that's what I also picked up. And those are the things that I picked up from either Jet Pens or Nico Neko. And then now we're on to what I picked up from Obonichi himself. Um, I got, and I literally just got the box in. So this is, I'm also opening this the first time with you guys. I picked up another drawer pouch. I didn't realize there were two sizes. So this is the much bigger size. And the layout is like this. This is actually kind of cool. I do like this. Um, I never really use their drawer pouch, but somehow I love this style. So I can put a weeks here. I'm assuming I can fit a possibly an A6. But I know it's designed to fit a weeks. Oh. And I think this is a keeper. Um, so this is a good one. This is, I believe it's a slightly bigger one. I don't know the sizes of it, but, um, all I know is that I got this and I like it. So now I have these two sizes and my friend Rhonda Lay wanted this cover, which I approve because it is adorable and she got an A5. Um, so that would go with her A5 cousin. It is so pretty. They do really well with the covers. I find the covers are always so lovely. My friend Rhonda Lay also wanted a sushi one. So I picked her up this Sushi Weeks. And then I also got this Yumi um, wallpaper um weeks and i think this is the love of my life like this is the most beautiful cover so i'm just such a fan of the weeks i don't know like i've not completely finished a whole weeks i'm using it as my daily journal but when i was working and i would take this to work it was so easy and compact i just love the weeks one year I went without the weeks and I just felt so incomplete. So um, this is definitely a keeper for me. Now what I'm going to use use it for, it's probably a substitute for when I'm, I'm actually bored with my plotter. I will use this as my other planning planner. So this is for my friend Rondelay. So I have this and then um, the two girls actually got the Stapo. So this is for Catherine. Catherine's, uh, sorry, this is Catherine Stapo. She got the sushi one and Rhonda Lay got the cafe one. I didn't get a Stapo because I just don't see the need for it for me anyway. And I also don't like stuff out on my desk. Um, so I didn't pick one up for myself. Um, when my order came in, I was like, they didn't send me one of these pretty blue bots. And here it is. I don't keep the boxes, but I made this year because I really love the blue and brown combo. This is an A6 cover for an A6 Techo. Oh, it's for the Han, I believe. Yeah, it's for the Han. There's three A5 cousins. So one's Rondelay, one is Susie's, and one's for myself. And then there is an A5 cover on cover for Rondelay to put on her A5 cover that I just showed you. And this is the A6 for myself. I think I mentioned earlier I was going to use the A6 as my everyday planner. Um, that was why I got this. And 
I have a really cute A6 cover from Hobonichi last year, which is the cat and the bread. So I was going to use that on this. However, now that Paper Test has released her A6, and I really love that layout because I used that in the B6 in 2023, I may ditch this one. Um, so that's that. Here are some other stuff that came with the package. I got some of these um, corners to hold the pages for the weeks and the A5 and A6. I had to get this, which is the page flag for the Yumi design. I probably won't use it. I just love it because it's so pretty. I also have this, which is your sticky notes. And this is the mystery present. And I believe they had notebooks this year. Last year was like that tiny little tote, which is very cute, but no use for me anyway. I've seen people use them. But this is definitely more of a more substantial, useful gift, in my opinion. Remember the year they would give out like that weird monkey or the banana and stuff? Anyway, this is what I got. I got four. I think it's because I got four planners. So this is the A6. I think this is very useful. And of course, it, there is this pens that comes with the... Free one last year I got quite a few few of them because I end up getting everything at once but I also love this color scheme this year I love that yellow and that orange um, last year was cute last year was the green one but Catherine loves them so she's gonna get one and I got these like uh, elastic bands I use them to hold my weeks can never have too many so I got two medium and too large so the large would fit like an a6 and an a5 and this is definitely more of a weeks and oh these um deco rush erasers there's a couple of those oh look there's more pens i got a total of two four six six pens did not know and i got these deco rush i think this was also an error because i think um, I was supposed to pick it up somewhere else. They're not for me, but they are definitely for um, Rondelay. So you have the Sushi, the Yumi one, and the Cherry. And then these two, I think, was an error that I picked up because I thought Catherine wanted it. She may have picked it up, and then she didn't. It was just a whole mess. So I ended up with two Sushi Deco Rush. I don't use them, so um, they'll have to go to a good home. Anyway, that is all my Hobonichi. Just to um, kind of talk through, I wanted to use the A6 this year. Actually, this coming year in 2025. That is why, as I mentioned earlier, I wanted to use these two as my everyday planner. Um, I really wanted to start planning um, daily. I'm not a daily planner. I want to start daily planning. And I find the A5 to be really intimidating because it's so big. Um, I do use the monthly. There is the weeklies here. And then there's the daily pages. And then I could do... I just wanted to have a little bit of structure, a little bit more um, efficiency in my day. So I chose the A6. Now, I don't know if I'm going to keep this system as an actual agenda planning. The reason being is that I did order the paper test A6. I just love that layout. So we'll see what drives well. Um, but I am definitely using my A6 Han as my daily journal. I'm keeping one of these weeks um, as my um, 
planner as a backup, as my EDC backup when I decide to ditch my plotter. So that is what I have so far. I have to sit down and digest and process what I actually purchased. I will do another video on that, but I'm so glad that I actually got my shop planner out of the way, which is the A5 plotter. So now it's just my personal one that I need to figure out. All these options, all these choices, but I think I'm going to have a much clearer, clearer idea what I want to use when my paper test order actually arrives. So um, I will definitely keep this as a backup and you know our minds change. It is only September. By October, we'll probably think of different things. So I will see and I will let you guys know what I decide at the end of the year. Thank you for watching. I know this haul is a little bit all over the place, but I appreciate you and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.